Nine forecast. Well, a cold start this morning, but a beautiful day. Here's the uh, sunrise sky this morning is captured by Warren Fault. You can see some high cirrus clouds out there. A few jet con trails, certainly beautiful. And here's a nice shot from Jim Carpenter this afternoon of a, a trees casting its shadow there on the barn. And uh, again, yeah, winter's long shadow. Let's uh, talk about our temperatures made it up to 54 at the airport today. Currently 48 skies are clear, light southerly wind, air mass very dry. Let's take a look at numbers of the Shenandoah Valley. It's currently 37. Morning began at 21, made it up to a high of 49 this afternoon. So certainly it was milder area wide in terms of our temperatures from yesterday. Currently we have 41 in Madison, 42 in Palmyra, 47 there in Dillwyn, 39 in Waynesboro, 40 currently in Harrisonburg. Winter weather advisory is for tomorrow for the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Shenandoah Valley, back into the Alleghenies. Actually begins at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, runs till 4 in the afternoon. Now I don't think the advisory for the valley floor would go until 4 o'clock, but there will be areas that will hold on to the colder air the longest, and that's where the advisory is issued. Yes, we could have a burst of some snow or sleet here across central Virginia. Virginia would be short lived. The morning hours will be most problematic, but certainly areas north and west of Charlottesville could hold on to the colder air a little bit longer. It won't be as cold as what we awoke to this morning, but temperatures uh, by morning will be at or just below freezing. So hence when the precipitation overspreads the region, we could get a quick burst of some snow and sleet and then it just goes over to really a cold rain. So really in terms of any snowfall, and this would be generally well under an inch and mainly the higher ridge tops and areas out to the west. But there could be a little slushy snow and sleet accumulation and then maybe a, gla a glaze on top of that from a little bit of freezing rain, especially the ridge tops of the Blue Ridge and certainly points west out across the Allegheny. So messy, yes, but not a big storm, but it will be a wet storm in terms of a good dose of rain. Now temperatures by the afternoon safely above freezing, but we're it's cold <laughs> upper 30s to around 40. So it's kind of a raw day here for Wednesday, looking at rainfall amounts on the order of a half an inch upwards to an inch of rain. So once again, it looks like another skirmish with winter, mainly the morning hours tomorrow. Otherwise, it's a cold rain area wide and then we'll dry out here for the late week. Uh, it'll be breezy on Thursday, some gusty winds, 40s to around 50 and then seasonably chilly here for Friday, but dry. Things are quiet now. Those clouds will thicken up here tonight. The storm center is down across Texas and there has been a tornado in the Houston metro area this afternoon causing damage. The storm itself will lift up through the Ohio Valley, but marginally cold enough at the onset that we see that period of a brief wintry mix, but areas north and west would likely hold on a little bit longer. So we cloud up overnight. By daybreak, here comes the moisture, and again, there's some wintry mix in there. Otherwise, it's a cold rain, and that takes us into the late morning, into the afternoon, then it begins to taper off. Again, temperatures will be above freezing at that point, but cold will start in the 30s early Thursday morning, a breezy day with a mix of sun and clouds, mid 40s to around 50. Tonight, then we cloud up upper 20s to low 30s. We'll watch tomorrow morning for that wintry mix. It goes over to a cold rain area wide. Kind of a miserable day tomorrow after today's beautiful weather. We dry out on Thursday and Friday. It will be breezy on Thursday. Right now, temperatures for the last weekend of January back in the 50s. Casey and Steve. All right, Eric. Thank you. Thank you so much.